guys, this is Joanna Fern Gadget, and I'm here at Mobile World Congress checking out a new tablet from Samsung. We've heard about this one uh, throughout the weekend and actually for the past month or so. This is the Galaxy Tab 2, as we thought it was supposed to be called. It's actually the Galaxy Tab 10.1. But anyway, it's got a 10.1 inch screen, obviously. That's the uh, naming convention there. Um, pretty nice display. Uh, actually, sort of looks like the same display as the Galaxy, uh, the original Galaxy Tab which uh, we obviously had no complaints about. So just a quick look around the hardware here. Um, just really thin. Um, you know, it's actually really light. That, that's the real, the first impression I had of this thing. It's really light. And uh, one of the things you'll notice on the back here is they've sort of changed the glossy um, material. This is sort of grippy, and it feels like plastic, but it actually feels pretty solid in hand. So also on the back, you'll notice an 8-megapixel camera, this cool little Samsung logo. Around the sides, you've got a power button, uh, speakers, which they say are pretty loud. We haven't tested those. Docking connector, and on this side, uh, the SIM card slot. Uh, no USB, um, but uh, we haven't actually seen that on any of these honeycomb tablets. So, running honeycomb here, and the nice news about this is that Samsung says it's going to be a Google experience um, here, so there's no TouchWiz uh, ever going to be coming to this. Um, we've seen, obviously, Honeycomb running. We can just show you a little bit about the UI here. Let's bring up the app pane. Uh, not connected here to either Wi-Fi, and there's no SIM in, uh, or the SIM wasn't working. But um, hopefully we'll get a better look at this with a more further along unit. They're saying it's coming in March. No price yet. Uh, also no word on when it's coming to the U.S., uh, but hopefully we'll be seeing it soon. This was a first look here at the Galaxy Tab 10.1.